When you see a flashing red broadband light on your AT&T Fiber BGW210 router, it's telling you something specific about your internet connection. This flashing red light indicates that your router can detect a broadband signal, but it cannot establish a stable internet connection. Your internet service is disrupted. Several factors can cause this issue. Understanding these common causes will help you identify what might be wrong with your connection. First, power interruptions. Temporary power glitches or outages can cause your router to malfunction and lose its connection settings. Second, damaged or loosely connected cables. When cables are damaged, frayed, or not properly connected, they can disrupt the broadband signal. Third, AT&T service outages. Sometimes the issue isn't with your equipment, but with AT&T's network infrastructure in your area. Another important cause involves the optical network terminal, or ONT, which is a crucial component in fiber internet connections. The ONT converts the fiber optic signal from AT&T into an ethernet signal that your router can understand. When the ONT has problems, it can cause your router's broadband light to flash red. Other factors that can cause this issue include extreme weather conditions affecting outdoor equipment, incorrect router settings, or internal hardware malfunctions within the router itself. Remember, a flashing red broadband light means your router detects a signal but cannot establish a stable connection. Understanding these potential causes is the first step to getting your internet back up and running. The first and most effective troubleshooting step is power cycling your router. This resolves most temporary connection problems. While the router is rebooting, inspect all cables for damage or loose connections. Look for cuts, bends, or worn areas that could disrupt your connection. If you have an ONT, check it for warning lights. The ONT converts fiber signals to ethernet. Try resetting it by unplugging for five minutes if you see any fault indicators. If problems persist, you can try a factory reset. However, this will erase all your custom settings, including Wi-Fi passwords and port configurations. Use the AT&T Smart Home Manager app to check for service outages in your area and restart your network remotely. This can save time by identifying widespread issues. If these steps don't resolve the issue, contact AT&T Technical Support. They can check for fiber line problems, signal issues, or other problems requiring professional intervention.